So you think you've got problems? The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is asking for more public money. Give me a fucking break! Says its compensation payments are higher than its initial estimate. Tokyo Electric Power Company has asked a state-backed fund for $8.1 billion to make up for the expected shortfall. TEPCO now estimates compensation to amount to about $38 billion. That's up from the initial figure of around $30 billion, which would be used to pay for damages for the nuclear accident last year. The utility had added properties to be compensated and extended the compensation period for voluntary evacuees and affected farmers. The government will review the utility's compensation plan and then decide whether to accept the request. The government of former Prime Minister Yoshiko Noda hoped to put all nuclear plants offline by the 2030s. But the new industry minister says he and his colleagues will review the policies of their predecessors. It's a bit too early to decide on the right mix of energy sources. What percentage should come from renewable energy and what percentage from fossil fuel. Motegi hinted that government leaders will take their time deciding on that mix. Now, the Nuclear Regulation Authority is also working on new guidelines for evacuations should another accident happen at a nuclear plant. You couldn't make this shit up. But experts say there isn't enough solid science in a draft outline, so they say they will need more time to finish their plans. The NRA decided to base the new guidelines on actual radiation readings. <laughs> Sometimes just think funny things. <laughs> After the Fukushima accident, authorities failed to get residents to evacuate promptly, even though they had information from a radiation forecast system. You don't even know how you all have confused these people. The NRA secretariat is proposing the immediate evacuation of residents within 5 to 30 kilometers of a nuclear plant when radiation levels reach 500 microsieverts per hour. The draft guidelines also call for temporary evacuation within a week's time in areas with radiation levels of 20 microsieverts per hour or more. The figures are far stricter than those recommended by the International Atomic Energy Agency. But the panel of experts did not reach a consensus. Some said the authority had simply decided on a level half that of international standards without enough scientific basis. Others said the NRA should adopt the international standard for the time being and continue discussions to set Japan's own standards. U.S. sailors are suing the operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. They claim Tokyo Electric Power Company issued misleading information after the disaster there last year, and they claim they were exposed to radiation. The nine plaintiffs include eight crew members of the USS Ronald Reagan, a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. They were deployed just off the plant shortly after the disaster. The plaintiffs filed their suit last week at the U.S. Federal Court in San Diego. They argue that TEPCO officials misrepresented the dangers and gave them a false sense of security. Their suit says that increased their risk of developing cancer. But it does not specify levels of radiation exposure or say to what extent their cancer risk has risen. They're demanding the utility pay $10 million in damages to each of them and $220 million to set up a fund for future medical costs. TEPCO officials have not commented. They say they have not yet seen the details of the case. I mean, that's laughable, isn't it? Build me an engine that can carry me home Light my darkness, bake my bread Show me the future, keep my family safe and warm Play me a song, make me smile Bring good things to live in. We bring good things.
We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. That is the judgment of our Nuclear Regulatory Commission and many other experts. Furthermore, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and public health experts do not recommend that people in the United States take precautionary measures beyond staying informed. And going forward, we will continue to keep the American people fully updated because I believe that you must know what I know as president. And he's going to sit up there hypocritically and pretend like he cares about the lives of children. Give me a fucking break. We bring new friends to play. Hi. Show how much you care. I wrote this just for you. We make you smile, Gee. To live it again, bring a song to your night. We help you to create. We keep you looking right. We bring you closer, closer and closer to the one.